Three, Mr. Speaker, just a few questions to the proponent of the bill as amended for clarification. He's ready, sir. Three, Mr. Speaker, I just want to be clear that this advocate would be an advocate for both member towns as well as non-member towns. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Slap. Yes, this uh, independent consumer advocate would advocate for consumers who are served by the MDC, both in member and non-member towns. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Representative Srinivasan. Through you, Mr. Speaker, as the good representative said, we've also heard a lot of concerns, questions raised by our consumers in, in Glastonbury and other non-member towns. So when they do have such concerns or questions of their bills, so on and so forth, would this be the avenue where they would be able to reach out and have an opportunity for their questions to be looked at in a transparent way and answered? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Slap, please. Yes, uh, thank you. Through you, yes, this would be uh, a very appropriate uh, way to address those concerns or questions reaching out to this consumer advocate. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Representative Srinivasan. Through you, Mr. Speaker, it was clear that there was no additional charge to the member towns for having this uh, advocate. Through you, Mr. Speaker, will there be any charge at all to the non-member towns? to have this advocate. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Slap. Thank you. Yes. Um, no, there will not be any additional charge to either member or non-member towns. Um, I should say that the ceiling for uh, funding for this in the first year is $70,000. In subsequent years, it will be $50,000. That will be paid for by the MDC. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the MDC was planning on hiring um, somebody to fill this role anyway, so I do not see this as uh, additional charge for uh, consumers at all. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Srinivasan. Through you, Mr. Speaker, in the appointment of such an advocate, whose voice or voices will be heard before they decide as who is going to be serving as the advocate? Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Slap. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, yes, the Consumer Council will select the uh, advocate. And um, as we mentioned before, uh, there are certain criteria that must be followed. Um, and it will be a two-year term. And then it will be up to the, um, the uh, Consumer Council to either reappoint the existing consumer advocate or uh, select a new one. And I do think it's important, again, to mention that uh, this position uh, is not one that can be uh, you know, terminated by uh, the MDC or disciplined um, in this position is uh, really accountable to first and foremost obviously consumers but in this case the Consumer Council's office. Thank you Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Representative Srinivasan. To you Mr. Speaker, so I want to be just clear, it is only the Consumer Council that has a say on who is going to be chosen as the advocate and not a the member town, not member town, non-member town, or the MDC. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Representative Slap, please. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Srinivasan. Through you, Mr. Speaker, this seventy thousand dollars in the in year one and fifty thousand dollars in year two, if the good representative could give us a rationale as to how those numbers were derived. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Slap. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we really modeled this uh, proposal on the South Central Regional Water Authorities model and looked at the level of funding that was needed to sustain this position there. And um, we feel like this is uh, certainly um, adequate. Um, and, you know, it is possible that um, the MDC could allow for uh, more uh, revenue to be spent on this, but we think that uh, coming in um, at this cap is, you know, um, is a reasonable place. Um, and the $70,000 in the first year is to um, really accommodate uh, additional time that could be spent setting up uh, the office and uh, getting this position uh, underway. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Representative Srinivasan. And through you, Mr. Speaker, my final question, this office of this advocate, 
and the and the and the legal profession that's going to be involved is it just a person or is it going to be a fully staffed office comprising of more than one person through you mr speaker thank you representative slap thank you uh there will just be one person thank you very much representative srinivasan through you mr speaker so this one person is going to be responsible for member towns, non-member towns, all the concerns, all the questions, all will be funneled through this one person who is that one person office. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Representative. Representative Slap, were you able to hear the question? Yes, I was. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, while certainly that would be in their purview, I would say that they, meaning the independent consumer advocate, would not be the only person who would be responding to uh, issues that have been brought up by consumers. So there are commissioners and representatives in each town. Um, they certainly uh, should be serving that role as well. Um, and there is staff at the MDC, you know, that could certainly uh, handle. Um, you know, a question about a bill. But um, the point of this is really to establish uh, a position, an independent position, somebody who can add transparency and, and more accountability to uh, the process, um, especially when people have concerns, not only about their bill, um, but also uh, about things that might have, let's say, an environmental impact. And we know there was um, a project um, that Representative Barham kind of um, uh, obliquely referred to that in his town that people had a lot of concern about. And I think that's a, a great example of how this position could really add value. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative. Representative Srinivasan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to thank the good uh, representative for his answers. I appreciate that. Thank you.